This is a Game Caviar production. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar studios, I went to GameStop today. All right, see you guys later. No, um, <clears throat> I got a text message yesterday that said that uh, something I pre-ordered was available for pickup at GameStop, but when I went to GameStop, it was not yet available. The text message completely lied to me, but I'm glad that I showed up there because what I did get a good chance to do is to play around with the new Nintendo console, the Wii U. Now, walking into the, the GameStop, I had chit-chat with the guy. Uh, I go in there a lot, so, you know, we had a little conversation. I told him what I was there for, blah, blah, blah. And to the right, I saw the Wii U console. I was like, all right, cool. Uh, I have one on pre-order uh, at Walmart, not at GameStop, because they ran out. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to get a feel of the console. It was really underwhelming, to be honest with you. Not the console itself, but the selection of games that they had that you could play. I should say game because it was only one Rayman Legends if you this is something that I just I don't understand why Nintendo did this um, there's a lot of questions about why Nintendo is doing these things but if you want people to be persuaded into buying your new console you should allow people to play as many demos of games as possible I mean you want the the best available software to be showcased and demo now i mean they had like a mass effect 3 and i think they had assassin's creed 3 and they had i mean they had like a nice the, the zombie u game that everybody's really talking about they had a lot of games that were available to see videos on but you could only play rayman legends why couldn't they have played why couldn't I have played Zombie U, a Wii U exclusive that actually has buzz? The Wii U has buzz, but it's not it's not as big as the the Wii was, because people are not really as excited for the Wii U as they were for the Wii. A lot of people are saying it's not even a next gen console. And from playing Rayman Legends. I'm telling you, it's not, uh, it doesn't look like, that game did not convince me that the Wii U is a next-gen console. Will it be a fun console? Yes. Will it be something that I, um, my kids will enjoy playing? Yes. Um, but let's say I was in the market for a new console for myself and this Wii U was out there. I didn't, I wouldn't have been convinced to put one on pre-order or, you know, or whatever. Because... I didn't want to, I'm not interested in playing Rayman Legends. I want to play an exclusive. They didn't even have a Mario game that you could play. And when you think about Nintendo, what do you think about? Mario, uh, Zelda, Donkey Kong. And I mean, I don't, I don't, uh, somebody says, like, if I was playing that game where they say a word and you say something else, if somebody said Nintendo, I wouldn't say Rayman. I would say Mario. I mean, you, they, it's like they, they're going to war with, with guns that shoot blanks. It's not really something that you want to, it's not, I, I'm, I'm just saying, Sony and Microsoft wouldn't do something like that. I just, I know they won't, especially Sony, because they like to show off their, 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 um, how good their system is, you know, and, and you can just think about it. A year from now, we're going to have the next Microsoft and the next Sony console. You would think with Wii U, Nintendo getting a year head start, roughly about a year, they would want to put out the best available. They want to gain as much buzz as possible in this um, uh, for this console. I'm starting to think that Nintendo really doesn't have as much confidence in that console as they seem because although they can say uh, in every interview that we're excited about our console and we want everybody to play it and look at all these features, when you put a demo console in a, a, a store, a popular store like GameStop, and the only game that you have available is Rayman Legends, that's telling me that you really don't think that your system has is going to be as popular or it is as good as you're making it out to be. 
That's just my thought about it. You know, if you want people to buy your system, you got this big lead. And they had a horrible E3. And it was terrible. The reports that were coming out of E3 were saying that people were just, they, 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 they didn't care. They didn't connect with the people. And, and that's not something that you would normally see from Nintendo. But they got this Wii U. And it, you, you look at what you did, right? Look at what they did. They had a horrible E3. They put out the Wii U and uh, GameStop and other stores with Rayman Legends. They're not putting forth their best efforts. So what are we supposed to do as gamers? Are we supposed to still be excited for that that console? Let me know. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar studio. And I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.